State machines can be expressed graphically as well as by a matrix. In the XTML editor, this is supported through a state event matrix tab that is attached to the graphical editor. If we click this tab, we will be shown a state event matrix where the rows are the states in the machine and the columns are the events in the machine. The matrix cells describe what happens when an event is sent to the class while in a certain state. In this case, if we receive the start stop press event while we're in the stop state, we transition to the running state. The state event matrix captures the exact same data that's in the graphical editor. We can see this by looking at the stop state and seeing that we have a transition that occurs once we receive the start stop press event to the running state, which is shown in this row main column. Another thing to consider is event ignored and can't happen can't happen allows an analyst to consider receiving the lap reset press event while in the stop state an exception. And in that case, the state machine likely needs work. Additionally, you can choose the event ignored, which the analyst then says that we may receive the lap reset press event while in the stop state, but we don't want to respond to it and we want to ignore it. The state event matrix editor allows you to access the OL for states as well as transitions. Simply single clicking on one of them will bring up the OL editor, which you can then modify, save, close, and return to the state event matrix editor. And again, for transitions, you single click, you can access the OL, modify, close, and return to the state event matrix editor. The state event matrix editor is a good way to review your state machine. It allows you to clearly see what occurs when an event is sent while in a certain state. 